Hello everyone and welcome to the Nice Label video on designing your first label. In this video we're going to look at the different objects that are in Nice Label and how to add them to a label. When we first open Nice Label we're presented with three design options. We can create a new label, we can do a new solution which is a form and a label file, or we can choose from some of our pre-installed sample templates that can help us get a head start on designing our label. For this video we're going to click on new label. After we click on new label, we're going to be brought to the new label setup wizard. This is going to help us set some things such as dimensions and what type of printer we want to use to get started with our label design process. In this, we can use any print driver that we have installed in our Windows environment, or you can download some of the print drivers we have available from our website at nicelabel.com. I'm going to use my thermal printer that I currently have installed, and I'm going to click next. Now here we can actually select our page size, meaning what type of stock we're going to use. Whether it's printing on a roll of labels, printing on single sheets of paper, or choose some different settings from different predefined stocks that we can use. I'm going to choose to print on a roll of labels, and I'm going to click Next. Now here is where we're going to select the actual printing orientation, such as portrait or landscape. As you can see, we've got our screen layout and our printer layout. When I click on Landscape, you can see the print layout changes and so does the print preview here. If I were to click rotated, it would also change the print layout here. So I'm going to actually uncheck rotated and keep orientation for my printing needs. I'll click next and now here's where we get to the actual dimensions. In nice label, you can use either metric or imperial units. You can click the drop down here and select either centimeters, inches, millimeters, or dots. I'm going to keep this on inches and I'm actually going to change my width and height to 4x4. Four four. So I'm going to highlight the width here, hit 4, and then I'm going to tab over to the height column and choose another 4. And as you can see, the print preview changed to show my new width and height dimensions. Now we could even add some margins, we can do some radiuses, and even if we were using multi-up labels, we can do horizontal counts and vertical counts. Now I'm going to click Next. And now we have our summary. This shows us what type of printer we're using, as well as our label dimensions and even some paper dimensions. I'm going to click Finish, and we're going to get started taking a look at Nice Label. Now, here we have a lot of options in Nice Label. You can see here that it looks very familiar to Microsoft Word, meaning we have a ribbon, which is also like Microsoft Word, contextual, meaning depending on what we put on the label and what we highlight, the ribbon is going to change with different options. If you take a look over here on the left, we've got our objects area, which is our text objects, text boxes, barcodes, pictures, and other things. Down here, we've got our area for our variables, our functions, and our databases, which we'll get into in later videos. Taking a look at the ribbon here, we've got uh, selections on our home tab for fonts, printing actions, some data management, and even grouping some of our objects. Going to the data tab here, we can see where we can set up different connections to different data sources such as Microsoft Excel, Access, and even SQL. On the View tab, we've got View how to take a look at some of the objects on our label. We can zoom into certain things and even put in grid lines if we want to get some finer design points. We've also got our Help section here which can guide you to technical support, some knowledge base articles, and even some sample files. Let's get started designing our label and go back to the Home tab. Now for this label, I actually want to create a text object, a text box, and a barcode. So we're going to start by clicking on the text object and put it on the label. So here we have our text object, and much like I mentioned a little bit earlier, we've got our contextual ribbon already coming into play. You can see here we've got two new areas called design and text. If I click on design, I can see I've got different design options here, such as position and anchoring, and text will help us edit the text as far as scaling, different size fonts, and even different type of fonts. So I'm going to click back on the Home tab, and now I'm actually going to add in the text that I want in this text object. So I'm going to double-click this text object, and now here we have our text editor. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to put in Company. Now I'm going to click off our text editor, and now you can see here we have our text object now with the word Company in it. I want to resize my text, but I don't know how big the font I want it. I will know if I choose a certain size or resize it. To do this, we can actually just drag the corner of the text object here, 
and it'll actually increase the size of the font as you can see up in the left hand corner here. So this is the actual size of the object that I want and we have a 26.8 font text object. Now I want a little bit different font so I'm going to leave this highlighted and actually go up here to the drop down and we're going to select Cambria. I'm just going to position this a little bit better and now we're going to add our text object. So we can click our text box here. And same thing, just like our text object, our text box, we can double click and highlight it. And I'm actually going to give an address to this, which is going to be 123 Main Street. And I'm going to hit return to get to the second line and type in anywhere USA. Much like our text object, I can actually just click off the editor. And here we can have, we see now that we have our text box here. Now I see that I've got some word wrapping going on, meaning that when you type in text in a text box, once it hits the end of the box, it will word wrap or go to the next line. Well, I kind of want everything a little bit better spaced. So what I'm going to do is actually, you can do your word wrapping and actually have it change depending on how large the text box is. If I make it smaller, you can see now the actual, we're getting an error showing that it can't all fit in the text box, but you'll notice the text actually adjusts itself on the fly. I'm actually gonna make this a little bigger so everything kind of fits on two lines, which is what I want. And I've got a lot of white space here, so I'm actually just gonna drag this up a bit. So now we have a very clean text box. Now I wanna line it up with the end of my company text object, but I'm not really good at eye sighting. Well, what we can do is a nice label, we can actually click and drag this, and you'll notice that once we hit the end of our object here, we get a nice purple grid line. So this helps us size up and actually place things so that they're actually in line with each other. Now, if I were to put this up towards the company text object, I can see that I get another grid line once I hit the end of the P and the Y character. So this shows us where we exactly are in spacing between our two objects. I'm gonna drag this down a little bit, make sure it's lined up, and leave it there. Now I want to add my barcode. So I'm going to go to our barcode object over here. We're gonna click on it, and I'm going to put it right on the label. Now you can see here by default, we've got some default text in here. First, I'm actually going to line this up with our objects and I'm going to double click on it and we're going to put in one, two, three, four, five. Same thing, I'm going to click off my text editor and now we have our barcode. Well, I wanna make sure this is lined up with both of our other objects. Now, I wanna move all three of them together but I'm not really sure how I can do that. Well, I can hold shift and try to select all of them or I can simply just highlight all of these objects and move them and we can even resize all of these on the fly depending on how big our label is and how big we want these objects. So if I highlight all of these, I can click and drag and as you can see, these things get bigger as we click and drag and kind of resize everything. Well, I'm gonna click and resize to, this looks about a good option, so I'm actually going to now reposition this. So now we have our company, our text box, and our barcode object all resized and lined up perfectly. Now the last thing is we can go to file and print. And here we come to our printing form. This shows us where we can change some things such as the speed and darkness of our printer. We can choose to print to file and we can even set some of our printer settings here. And we can even see a print preview of what our label is going to look like. And if we had some variables, we could even assign some data to those variables or choose how they're going to be populated. We can also change the quantity of our labels here and even do some other things such as printing to a file or even some PDF printing. So in summation, we learned in this video how to create a label, add some of our dimensions and our settings. We've learned how to add a text box, a text object, and a barcode. We've also learned some simple formatting things such as lining things up using the auto grid line and how to select all of our objects and resize them all at once. Thank you for turning into this video on designing your first label in Nice Label.